All right, so you join me down at East Elf Lakes in Peterborough. We've got 24 hours here on the back lake to see if we can get amongst one of the beautiful scaly mirrors that reside in this complex. So let's get the gear out of the van and see if we can get amongst them. So I just had a quick walk around the lake. I've done a couple of laps now and I haven't seen too much. It's been very, very quiet, even though it's flat, calm. Um, I've not seen any signs of fish really. Um, so I've just set up in a swim called Super Freaks. Uh, I've just flicked out a couple of singles. Um, one tied to the left-hand island and one tied to the right-hand island. Uh, that right-hand island's pretty much the same spot, just from a different angle that I had that fish there from the other day when I was here with my mate. Um, I just plan to give it a few hours here just while I try and see something else elsewhere. Um, but before we flick my rods out in here, I went round to the other side. There's a little another back corner island. It's really quiet over there. It's not seen much for angling pressure. And the bailiff said he'd seen a fish down there cruising around earlier on today. Um, and there was a few bubbles coming up near in that area. So uh, I just flicked out a couple of handfuls of bait, uh, literally like eight boilies, nothing major. And I'm just going to leave that now until dark and I'm probably going to do the night over there unless I see anything else to move on before then. Uh, so I've got 24 hours, plan to stay fairly mobile and just fish singles. Just got a couple of pop-ups on at the moment, just um, flick out. So uh, keeping it simple, keeping it very light on the bait and hopefully just trying to nick a bite. Um, so that's the plan for now. Um, hopefully we'll uh, have a fish to show you soon. Alright, so nothing materialised over in that other swim. Um, I did see a fish come through in the margin, um, but other than that I didn't see anything out to the islands. Um, it's been really quiet over there, so I've moved around to a swim called the Fridge for the night. Uh, flicked out one of the rods onto that uh, handful of bait I put out earlier, and the other one I've just underarm flicked down to the margin, um, underneath an overhanging tree. Uh, went down with a real crack on the bottom, so a nice firm spot out there. Um, that one's just got a little single pop-up on it, I've put no bait over that at all. Um, I'm hoping that something will just patrol along the margin and uh, just to try and nick a bite really. So you're going to give it the night in here and if nothing materialises, um, set my alarm for first light. Um, have a watch of the water and if I see anything I'll move. Um, and uh, we'll just play it by ear really. So hopefully uh, it kicks off tonight and we'll get one. Uh, if not, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so it's now about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, nothing materialized last night. It was a really quiet night. Um, the air pressure's gone really high. It's absolutely flat calm here. It's like a mill pond here, not a ripple on the water. Um, it's misty. Uh, the temperature's dropped. It's absolutely terrible conditions now. Um, I was, the plan was this morning, if I didn't have anything, be to reel in and uh, go for a move around to where it's in fish, but the only place I've seen fish is near me. Last night on my left hand rod a fish launched out down there, and then first thing this morning um, I set my alarm for about 6 o'clock while it was still dark and sat up, uh, made myself a brew, and just uh, sat there watching the water and the fish rolled just to the right of the island that I'm fishing to. Um, so the only two fish I've seen have been near me. Um, I just think they're just not having it at the moment. Uh, there was two others on last night. Uh, neither of them had a touch or even seen anything either. So um, I think I'm going to stick it out here for another hour or so. Um, hopefully this mist will clear a bit because I can't even see the other side of the lake. Um, it's that thick. Uh, it's only a couple of acres and I, I can't even see across. So uh, it's making it really hard to try and spot any signs of fish. So. Uh, got a few hours left here till one o'clock, um, so 
so we'll just play it by ear really. Uh, give it another hour here and I might reel in, go for a walk around once this mist is cleared and see if we can find any fish. So uh, fingers crossed that hopefully uh, next time I talk to you I'll be with a fish. Alright so I said I was going to give it an hour or so over in that other swim. Um, I didn't see anything else until about a quarter of an hour ago a fish rolled out in the middle of the lake. So. Uh, I've packed up all my gear and I've moved around now into uh, creepy caravans so I can get to the middle of the water um, and I've just put out two zigs um, at about four foot and five foot just a little trimmed down yellow pop up on the zig um, and a size eight hook and I've put those out for the last couple of hours it's about quarter to eleven now uh, the sun's now really starting to come out and, and with the air pressure being so high at the moment um, and not really seeing too much. I'm guessing they're probably just cruising about mid-water um, and not really getting down and feeding. So that's why I've put the zigs out for the last couple of hours. Um, as I say, it's quarter to 11 now. Uh, I've got to be off by one. So um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's been a lot of moving around this session um, and the fish really haven't been playing ball, but uh, it's been good fun so far and hopefully we can end it with a fish. Um, if not, um, probably see you in the next video.